Hello, and today we are at Vicarage Road for the championship fixture between the Hornets and the R's. It's Watford versus Queen's Park Rangers. And it's not live, but it will be a match review and a match vlog. Watch th this vlog and uh, do smash a like on it. Comment your thoughts on the game. Um, but we're on our way to the, the Heavenly Vic, the place we call home. Um, well, it wasn't home, unfortunately, in that nice way on Tuesday night because we lost our first home game of the season. Technically, we're still, though, winning 100% record at home uh, this season, but it was in the Carabao Cup. Um, so, yeah, uh, that was a quick exit against MK Dons. We did play a partly weaker team, but, you know, still disappointing to see. And you see the, the level of quality. We should easily be beating MK Dons with that kind of team and just no kind of desire and just looked really, really sloppy. Uh, not a good night for um, the new goalkeeper, Maduka Okoye. So, really, um, that was a bit of a, eh, kind of like, who cares? But at the same time, not ideal. Um, so, yeah, we moved to today. QPR is an interesting test. QPR are kind of a mid-table team. They're not going to probably be that high up. Also, probably not going to be that low down. So they're going to be a bit of a difficult one to break down, you would imagine. Um, but we had that in the last couple of games and we weren't able to do that. So we need to be more penetrative in our in our attack today. Um, the, the problem I've got is that we can't seem to score one more, uh, more than one goal each game. So it's like, when is that breakthrough going to come? And if it comes late on, then we're going to be nervous and it could not happen. So... We really need the three points today to, to bounce back from those two draws. I mean, against Preston, I thought we actually played well at parts. I mean, Preston had their chances. Again, Backman with some good saves. Espria, though, looked fantastic in that game, creating all the chances. But our strikers, Ray Manai and Vasun uh, Bayo, I mean, they're just not clinical at the minute, and it's a real worry. So they need to fill their boots with goals today, um, get a bit of confidence. Um, and also the new signing, Keenan Davis. Wonder if he'll get his first home start because I don't think he will. Um, at the minute, he's been lacking match fitness and apparently in the week, um, according to Andrew French, who, who reports for Watford, uh, is, is currently ill. So not the most ideal scenario. Um, also not ideal that we're going to be letting go of Hassan Kamara next season. That's a real loss um, because of having to kind of balance up the budget and, and sort out the finance, really. 16 million, um, so he's going to be loaned uh, to Watford for this season, for the rest of the season, and then he's going to be out uh, and go into uh, Udinese. So, yeah, it's a shame. Um, of all players to sacrifice, it was not um, the one that I wanted, but, you know, it is what it is. We thought we could get the most value from him. Um, but this is going to be a game that I hopefully see that Watford team just create and score more chances. I mean, in the Birmingham game, I thought we were massively second best and we really did, just like the West Bromwich Albion game, get away from that game. You know, I, I think about that Birmingham game and think there were phases. We should have scored, we hit the post, uh, but yet we can't seem to get that goal to kind of kill off a match. So hopefully um, we put in a better performance and we ultimately get the three points today. Um, there'll be a few things in the in the match day programme about how it's nearing the... 100 years at the Vic, um, so that's a good moment. Um, obviously, you've got Andre Gray, uh, former Watford player, player for QPR, um, but I'm not sure if he'll if he'll be starting tonight uh, today he's because gone. I think he's yeah he's he's gone off to some some random club. Um, so to be honest, probably for QPR and for us, good riddance. Uh, he just didn't really uh, ever have it. But um, interestingly enough, of course, a lot of players down the years played for both these clubs, the likes of. Hyder Helgeson, Tommy Smith. So let's see what happens today. Um, let's see if we can get the victory. I mean, I think QPR will definitely make it difficult and we've got some difficult um, threats to deal with like Elias Chair, Chris Willock, um, Lyndon Dykes is going to be quite, you know, quite hard to deal with. We've got to have Sierra on his game today. So what's my score prediction for the match? I'm going for a Watford win. Of course I am. And rather stupidly, I'm being optimistic and backing the new strikers to finally get on the score sheet. Ray Manai and Bayo. Uh, so Manai to get the first on 25 minutes, then 
QPR get an equaliser in the second half on 57 minutes through Elias Chair. And then the winner for the Hornets comes very late on in the 83rd minute. Yes, the legend, Bio, makes his name at Vic. Hopefully, another victory for Rob Edwards' team at the Vic. Let's do this. Come on, you horns. I'll see you in the full time post match review. Let's just look at it. Manai off with an injury, Aspria on. You love to see it, my favourite Watford player. Come on, Yasser, it's time. What a goal from Ken, by the way. The other goal was a deflected shot from Elias Chair. I think it will definitely be an own goal. But the important thing is we showed a great reaction to going behind. So hopefully we can go on and get three points. You all. Very unlucky. Should have been 3-3. Three, three. The dust has settled on our first league defeat of the season. Probably not deserved and feeling very frustrated, but it's finished Watford 2, Queen's Park Rangers 3. Oh, how, oh, how have we not got something from that game? I thought we were the better team for the majority. QPR, as clinical as they were, really didn't inspire me and Watford played really well and showed that character to get back into the game after going a goal down, but... Ultimately, when it comes to it, Watford too open defensively and 
you know, we got picked off way too easily for that second QPR goal, swe sweeped home by Chris Willock. But it's a really disappointing result. Um, first league defeat of the season. We definitely deserve more, though. We definitely, I thought that was a more likely, that should have been, based on both teams' performances, a draw. A 3-3 would have been more suitable, and it would have been the case if it wasn't for right at the end, an absolute screamer from Edu Kayembi. But unfortunately, it looked like Bio was in an offside position. It was the correct decision from the linesman. Uh, but there was controversy. Um, Kamara getting shoved. Watford claiming they should have had a penalty and probably should have done. Um, but unfortunately, the Hornets do not get anything at Vicarage Road. And Albert Adoma, he did it in the game in the last time we were in the championship to turn it around for QPR. And he did it again today, uh, getting the winner off the bench. Um, a shame. We're not unbeaten anymore, but we really deserved um, to, to get something because we started quite well. Um, decent start. I mean, QPR had a few chances. It was a very jam-packed first half, that's for sure. Um, QPR, they got their goal and they probably deserved, to be fair. They did start well, QPR. Um, it was very, very lucky, though. 30 yards out, has a shot. And it took a huge deflection off Francisco Sierrauta. There's no way that's going in without that touch. Um, and there's no nothing that Batman can do about that. Um, and then Ken Semmer. I mean, we, we responded really well, well to going 1-0 down. We, we came back and we looked the better team uh, for a nice little period. And then we got our goal from Ken Semmer, who was really calm finish. Really great. Um, the pass from Pedro is fantastic. Just clipped it. And then Semmer took it on his chest, took a touch and drove forward. And then he kind of changed the leg, took it on his left, and then eventually, with a low finish, slotted it past um, the goalkeeper. Um, and then Chris Willock, with a fine team move from QPR, um, they went ahead again. And it was a real gutting blow to go in at half-time, um, losing, because, as I say, that second goal um, from QPR came against the run of play. As, as I say, we, once we'd gone 1-0 down, we looked the better team, uh, and we got back the goal. But then the, the QPR second was a bit against the run of play. But ultimately... You know, we were 2-1 down. We thought, let's see a reaction. We did show a reaction. And boy, did we do well to get back in that game early on in the second half. Um, I mean, Pedro hit the bar um, with a brilliant, brilliant effort from 40 yards um, because he tried to chip the goalkeeper. And that was just so unlucky. Today, so many things so unlucky for us. The first QPR goal, Pedro hitting the bar, not having the penalty um, given to us and also the offside right at the end. I mean... It was a brilliant goal um, with a low finish um, to get the equaliser on about 52 minutes in the end. Uh, 50 minutes it was, yeah. So Pedro got the assist for the first and he scored the second. Um, and it was a good goal from, from Chair in terms of how they created it. But it was a lucky finish with that Johansson pass. Um, and led, obviously, with the, with the great cross in for that Willock sweeping home finish. And then Adoma gets the goal, um, assisted by Paul. Um, honestly, though, Watford will feel hard done by from that because they are sitting in seventh, but really looked like the game that you would think they get something from. I think defensively, we were just too nervy though at times. And talking about that lineup, I mean, Backman, I thought made a really good save in the second half to deny a close range shot. But other than that, you know, conceded free. The defence in front of him, I thought Gaspar was really poor today. Really, really poor. Sierrata was okay. Um, ultimately, though, Sierrata, you know, it was unfortunate that he scored, got the contribution for the own, well, what should have been an own goal. It went down as a, as a chair on, uh, goal. Um, and, you know, at times he might have struggled. Cavaselli, as captain today, I thought he was a decent leader um, and got a few really good headers in. But ultimately, it's a shame because there was just a lack of communication um, when, it, when it was at the back. Kamara... Not ideal game from Kamara today. Gets books as as did Cavaselli. Um, but he, he was going for it, Kamara, and he always gives it the hundred percent for the shirt. So you gotta love him for that. Um, then Kayembe got booked as well. Um, not ideal from him. Uh, and obviously had, had the goal ruled out. But okay, other than that, a bang average performance. Chowdhury was decent. I thought he was decent. Not quite perfect in the second half. Um, in terms of going forward, he wasn't offering enough. But in terms of getting stuck in and looking a warrior, he was brilliant. Um, and then in terms of that front uh, four, we had Ismail Assar starting. Amazing surprise to see him in the squad. Um, hopefully he can stay, but I'm not holding out any hopes. Um, I thought he had a decent game, to be fair. I thought he was decent. He was good at his running. Um, got down the sides a lot and gave the QPR fullbacks a lot of 
um, problems. But ultimately, no con kind of goal contributions today. Um, it is what it is with him. Joao Pedro, I thought, was a bright spark, got his goal, worked hard. But then other times, was just a bit frustrating with his passing. It was just a bit soft and not as accurate. But, you know, with Pedro, he's, he's given his all. Semma, he was my man on the match today. I thought he did everything right. Great finish for the first goal. Really composed. Um, but ultimately, you know, he's better at that kind of more pushed up position where he's taking on the fullbacks. He can't really operate as a left back. Um, so I think the better play for us is to have on the right, either Gaspar or Ngakia, and then on the left, Hassan Kamara. Um, that's my preference. We played Kamara on the right and had Semmer on the left um, when uh, when Gaspar uh, was uh, taken off and Bayo was brought on. So I think it's interesting. Um, ultimately, though, a decent game from Semmer, and he's my man of the match uh, with, with the goal. But Pedro was up there as well. Um, and then Manai, obviously, shame to see him go off injured. But Spria comes on. I thought he affected the game at points of Spria, but there was other points where he, he lost possession. So, you know, he's a decent um, talent at Spria, and we certainly should give him more game time. But ultimately, I'm very disappointed to, to not get anything from that game. And um, we can feel hard done by, I think. Uh, but the performance was there. That's encouraging. We scored goals much, much better. Um, and defensively a little bit concerning but at the end of the day it is what it is we've 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 given our all and that's all we can do sometimes but we go again Middlesbrough on Tuesday definitely need that to be a win um because you know not one for three games now so um as good as the performance was ultimately the defense did cost us today um it's just that the referee I mean a bit controversial because the referee today um Keith Stroud apparently a Luton fan so that's not ideal but anyway, we move. It is what it is. We've lost the game, but there was absolute scenes, as you saw earlier, with that Semmer goal. So, you know, it was a good day out. Great game. Just not quite enough to get something from the game today. But we can feel that in other games, if we play like that, we'll get a bit more of the rub of the green. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.